All right, so I've been doing a bit of poking around on the map here. As you can see, I've just cleared out this like island visually on the map so we can look around it. And I am interested in a spot around here. It looked like there was a waterfall. I'd like to build the base near a waterfall. And this seems to be semi central to things, so I'd like to I'd like to build there. Now we're probably going to be under leveled for the area, but that'll just add to the fun, won't it? So I think we go over there, we try to build up, we have a good time. Let's hop on to Dire Howl. Who we need to name. But I don't know if we'll name him yet because like, you saw that big Gumos we got, right? Massive. I'm wondering if we can get a big, a big old dire wolf. Because if we can get like a dire wolf that's like the size of that elephant, that's mad. That's some crazy stuff. I also accidentally taught him how to use uh, one of these fruits. You right click it and then you left click who you want to learn. I was trying to get information. And now he knows Dragon Cannon, so he he does a shoot. And it's got a quicker cooldown than uh, Sand Blast, so we can actually take things out with it. A lot of creatures that we still have to catch. And we have to go back and catch like multiples of a bunch of them. Oh, is that a cave? Should we take on a cave? Ooh, that, that deleted him. Okay, I wanted to catch him. I guess ground beats electric in this too. I should have known. Yeah, you know, we, we gotta take these on when we see them now. It's just... Okay, daydreams. I think we need a better melee weapon and better melee skill if we're gonna actually fight things though. Like it's cool getting all up and close and swinging this spear around, but this spear does no damage. This spear is weak. Oh, there's a big tree in there. Is this like the Gumos room before? Let's see. Celery. Oh, it's that guy. Our Firefox isn't doing too well. Water might be a bad matchup for him, actually. So they just focused me. They didn't even care about him. Well, this game is pretty solid, pretty fun. But again, I'm the kind of person who just loves monster catching, training, survival kind of games. <coughs> I've been looking for anything that I'd like fill in for Ark for me if like Ark went downhill. And if this game continues to receive support and frequent updates, it might be a, a pretty good one. Oh, it's that guy. That guy gives me such a rough time though. Okay, we need our boy there to fight him. Because he will destroy me. Oh, look at our- look at him. Oh, he just did that whole thing on his own. Oh, good boy. Yeah. Look at that. Looks kind of like a lichen rock to me. I'm going to be honest. Maybe that's why I like him so much. Ooh, grass tornado. 
two grass tornadoes. Okay, so this is how we can get renewable moves for sure. That's cool. It's good to know that we can we can get them through that. Okay, so it's to the west we need to go. We're going to Bridge of Twin Knights. Uh, we could just fast travel, but I, I like the walking around. And also there's a chance that we uh, we see a big boy. Like the Kremis that we couldn't get, or the cat that we couldn't get. Oh, it's a chicken. Oh, that's cool. Your boy got him. Looks like he's having a rough time over there. Oh no, he's got this. He's he's tearing them apart. Oh, look at that. Look at that good stuff. And more chests for us. Let's see, do we get some cool stuff in here? Life pendant. And a, another technology point. Nice. So I'm, I'm hoping, you know, like how we found that, like, sparkly cat. I'm hoping we can find, like, a dire howl like that or a boss one. Like, we found the... Okay. So here's the thing. We're going to be running into creatures that are stronger, I think, over in this area. But this area, it's just, it's in the right spot on the map. Look at it. It's very central. What is that? Why is that spot open on the map? Cool. Goblin's Turf is a... Uh, I poked my head over here to see if this was like a nice beach. And I got one shot. I couldn't even get to that... Uh, that point there. So we've got a respawn point here. It should be fine. I go north to get to that water there. Looks like some great balls. Some flobies. Look at this waterfall. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm liking that. I don't like that. But like down here, somewhere along this would be ideal. There's a, a cool guy up there. That's like a Galade Decidui kind of situation. Okay, this area looks really neat. Ancient ritual site. It's got a boss fight in it. I'm thinking we'll probably build near the water there though. I like the water. It's just, it's just something about lakes and whatnot is really nice. We've got a, a spot there, so let's go get that. Oh, big egg though. Oh, big egg. Huge dragon egg. Oh. Okay, what do we do here? What do we get rid of? Fiber. No, I need fiber for building. We've only got two of those, though. Huge dragon egg is way more worthwhile. What's this guy? Oh, I want to open that, but... It's being guarded by by dudes. I don't like it. Oh, they do mad damage. Oh. We got the travel point. 
And it's one of them shiny ones. They're not shiny, but you know what I mean. I don't think we can take it though. I'd love to go after it. Don't get me wrong. Without like a base set up anywhere near, I kind of averse to risks. Is that a desert area? Oh, please tell me there's a desert. Oh, there's a desert. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Okay, I I do like the idea of living in a desert. We're just gonna poke over and see what the threat's like. Oh, they're so chill. I haven't seen like a, a jungle kind of area yet. Wow. There's the dumb muds. Dig toys. Oh, everything here is, is like completely Completely new stuff. Here's the Fuddlers. Oh. Okay. I don't think we can handle that. There's Anubis. Just, just straight up Anubis. All right. So we've we've ended up. Exploring an area I wasn't expecting to. But I'd be so down to build here. Is this some kind of bamboo forest? Like an oasis? Look at all this area up here too. Like, see this black area? Like on the map? That's stuff we can explore, I'm pretty sure. Whether it's ocean or not, I don't know, but like, look at all this. We've seen like nothing. Those guys, they do not look chill. Like they look so nice, but like his actions are, are not chill. He's like jumping and waving his arms. Look at him, he's flying. He's flying. I didn't think he could fly. Let's get out of here. Okay, that should be a good transfer spot. We go west. East. Southwest. Yeah. That's the kind of issue we're going to have in this area. But it is going to be worth it. 100%. I guarantee you. Yeah, we'll go here. So what do we need for our first base upgrade again? Oh, we can we can run everyone here. Perfect. Just it goes straight to our uh, our level. Oh, we got a stat point that we can put in. Let's get our stam up. What kind of tech we unlocking? Sphere workbench. Wall torch. Mega sphere. Two of these are like the basis on top of which a lot of our stuff will be built. We need feed boxes. I would like to build in the desert at some point, but this is like the ideal spot for our level. Once we hit like level 30, we'll build something out there, I think. Maybe like level 25. All right, it's dark out, but we're just working on the base, so it doesn't need to be light. I think we're gonna make a, a little pool for them.
I think they would greatly enjoy that. Their sand is low and that raises sand. And I think the low sand might be causing them to be less functional. So we gotta get them like some some necessities like a hot spring. So we'll bring that over here by the pond. It's, it's a lot of wood that we're needing. Now, I wish we could have brought back all the resources from the previous base. It just didn't work out. It was too much to carry. And we're gonna love this. I know it's it's not a very pretty base. It'll it'll be better. Yeah, they need food. They seem to have all sorts of medical issue. Apparently a sprain is breaking a bone. That's not good. That little one is sick. I don't know how to unsick it. So we're gonna need to craft as much of this as we can. I just, I wanted to be in this area. This area is so nice. I was hoping we could find like a big waterfall and some tall trees. Cause that's just like, I always like that in a survival game. A good old jungle. One of, it's one of those biomes I love in Minecraft. I haven't played Minecraft in a, a long while. I wanted to make Minecraft videos at one point. I wasn't very good at it. I tried to try to make some Minecraft videos for this channel too. I didn't like most of them. And now you know, using my voice in my video, I, I might I might try it again at some point. Now that I actually talk, it's like I I couldn't find a good way to to get like speech bubbles or blurbs in to convey ideas or thoughts. So talking, talking makes that a lot easier. Lazy sheep not making all the nails. All right, high quality workbench. We going for them big things now. Oh, look at that. Progress. We can bring in another, uh, another pal. We need Medicine workbench. Need a work pal. And a high quality workbench. Well, medicine is the next one we're making. So let's get a... Um, let's get another pal set into base. You've got some different things you can do. I, I do see you've got like a... Oh, a resource you can produce. I like that. Let's see what resource is produced by you. See if we can try to fix some of the issues we're running into with them. Maybe we need like a healing one. Okay, mood juice. Suspicious juice. High grade medical supplies. Okay, this is one we're gonna need. It's I uh, ingot and horn. Oh, I can feed the medicine to fix them. Okay, so one of you's got a sprain. I can't fix fractures. You're just dead. That's just how it is. Now I think we need ourselves a little house here. Some guys here that we so have to catch. I don't even remember seeing that guy. Unless I like ran past. Oh my goodness, he's a little goblin. So we're just getting like information on everyone we've walked past, eh? 
Oh, cat can drop gold. Okay, I should have. I should have seen that coming. Now I want to know what we do with this guy. So we gotta put like an egg in you, right? I think we have an egg in one of these. Like a big egg. Yeah, we got this guy. So let's put this guy in. Does that say 72 hours? 72 hours seems a little long. We've got this egg that's going to take literally three days to hatch, which is honestly kind of ridiculous. I might speed that up because that's just... 72 hours is a lot of hours. It's a lot of hours. There better be something bloody crazy in there. Yeah. Let's repair our gear. And we're going to take on one more dungeon today. And then tomorrow, maybe we'll try taking on Pen King. I'm like surviving exclusively on eggs. Oh, you know what? We'll check this thing out if it's open. Yeah. Let's see. Looks open. Let's poke our heads in here. Let's not poke our heads in here. Okay. That's... yeah, that's, that's rough. We need ore, so we should be grabbing this. I just wanted to try to do one more... more dungeon. We're finding like things we gotta like actually go and check out later. Uh, I don't see any like mine thing, so maybe there's a maybe there's a pal that'll generate or oh, it's another gumos. So we should be catching these big bosses, I think. I say we should catch them as I blast him to pieces. Good job on me, eh? Okay. Refined. Or no, feathered hairband. Uncommon. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please stick around for some more. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.